Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick informative video for you guys um, about the 13th gen new CPUs that just came out and the 600th series motherboards. This is really important. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, all my community definitely knows that I own two technology companies and I do a lot of PC building for my community and for veterans. Uh, that's why all of that stuff is all behind me. All those video cards, all those motherboards and all those spare parts that are all over the place. It's why there's so much stuff around. So, and I've been doing this for a very long time and I wanted to address something because um, after like the fourth person this month has come to me and asked, hey uh, peeps, I just built my new computer and I brought, I bought a brand new 13th gen CPU and I popped it in and I turned it on and nothing happened. And I asked them what motherboard they were running and they told me they bought a 600 series motherboard and I said, well, unless you got a 12th gen processor laying around, it's not going to turn on and his head started exploding internally i guess I, I don't know but he got really quiet and the last couple prior to that also went through the same sort of shock well there's lots of videos out there that tell you what to do to fix the problem they don't tell you what you need to fix the problem i specifically sat through three videos that did a good job explaining but they left out one key very important factor they didn't tell you that you needed to take your 13th gen processor out and grab a 12th gen processor and put it into the 600 series board to get it to turn on. They left the most important part out. So that's what I wanted to sort of fill you guys in and on that you guys are, that are out there that want to do a build, which is great. Do your own thing, but make sure that if you're going to try to save the money to do a, you know, a, a decently priced build, and you're not going with a 700 series like the Z790 boards and the Z6, 6, uh, 760s I think they have out now. And you're going to do it with a cheaper Asus, MSI, Gigabit, whatever it may be, B600 series or a Z670 series. You have to make sure that you have a 12th gen processor available to install into the board. So you can actually get it to post so you can upgrade the BIOS. You have to upgrade the BIOS. That's what all those videos were about, how to upgrade the BIOS. But they, there were so many that forgot to tell you that in order to get it to boot, you had to take the 13th gen processor out. One of them skipped right over that entire part and just went right to the spot where you go on the ASUS website to get the download. I'm not knocking them. They were informative, very good videos, but I wanted to make sure you guys had some clarification to this situation that is going on here. For those of you who have one of these boards already and a 12th gen processor, you're safe. Just don't forget, go to your manufacturer's website, download the latest BIOS and install it before you put your new processor in. This is just gonna save you guys a lot of hassle and trouble. And for those of you who are trying to save some money and buy a 600 series motherboard and build your own computer with a 13th gen processor, I, I I hate to say it, ask a friend or make sure you're ordering yourself a 12th gen processor. I know it's crazy and maybe resell it later or see if a friend needs it. I don't know what to tell you there, but if you buy one of these from a manufacturer with a 13th gen processor and you just expect it to work out of the box, it's not going to unless it was a fresh batch that just shipped and none of us know that information off the top of our heads. Neither do most of your places that you're going to be ordering from. And also to be very careful because on Amazon's website, I think it was, this board says that it is compatible with 12th and 13th gen. All of them say that they're compatible, but it is not ready to run. So just keep that in mind when you guys are buying. Now, if uh, anybody needs any help, I've got a dedicated channel in our Discord. Like I said, I've been doing this for just coming up on 26 years now. Um, uh, custom building. We do a lot of cool stuff for our community. Uh, I do a community PC build every one to two months or so, give or take. And that's where I build a nice brand new computer for some for the community. And I give it to them at cost. Really cheap. 
surprisingly cheap for some great specs and and and, and a great price this way because i know some of you guys struggle so I, I try to do as much as i can to give back to the community that supports me and the dedicated channel in discord i get a lot of tech questions and i'll answer you within 30 minutes or so if you guys have a question or a problem with anything but anyway if you like the video drop a sub appreciate it very much come by check out the stream we're always doing builds or gaming or doing something else we're here i appreciate all the love have a good night guys